Hello guys, I am back from another video and today we're talking about What if Bell had the ability to summon heroic spirits? So in the last video we talked about how after one of the characters, specifically Lethia wakes up from her, you know, from her beauty sleep, she would start leaving to go somewhere else. Until she heard the sounds of Beth basically, you know, having fun. And after hearing that she would think that uh, she's probably using some of those toys that we bought her. Until she heard another moan, but more specifically, the mound of Vesky suffering. And would Vesky tell, you know, you know, Finn to Vesky help her out with this. And after Finn wakes up, and after hearing about that there's another voice there in Beth's room, sh you know, let's just say he was quite terrified knowing who it is. Maybe. But when they opened the door and would see, you know, Izuku Vesky suffering there, Vesky asking for help. You know, not easy game, and Bell, goddammit. Well, they would decide to try and find a way to basically stop it, and would so find a special type of, like, you know, net, and would basically capture her, saving, you know, Bell from basically a horrible life, or at least not really horrible life, but more like, you know, a, you know, a torturous month of life, you know, being forced to be her. Yeah. So, yeah. So, after that, we currently see, you know, well, the rest of, like, you know, the Loki Familia, and also the, you know, well, I guess you'd say, like, the Familia known as, you know, the Hestia Familia, but it's not technically a Familia because it only has one member, aka Izuku. Not Izuku, I meant Bell. I mean, technically, you know, you can sort of, you know, say that, you know, his heroic spirits also count, but still. Anyway, so. After meeting up with them and also, you know, Loki apologizing to, you know, Izuku, especially, you know, towards, you know, how bad Bisky forced him to be her toy, let's just say that. And after doing so, everybody would basically go their separate ways while, you know, Belle is currently traumatized and now has a fear of death. Or specifically, you know, Girls that have white hair and also have wolf like pictures I and mean, features. And so, because of that, we currently see now Bell currently just doing his normal job, basically going through the dungeon and killing a lot of monsters. And after arriving to the guild with the rest of his zero experience, some of the people there were basically whispering how he, you know, well, was forced to be her plaything, and I quote. Um, for, you know, a few, you know, for yesterday. And because of that, everybody's whispering how he, you know, became the first of, like, you know, of Bet. Yeah, and not only that, he also lost his V-card to, you know, to the one person that he sort of hates. Yeah, oh boy. <laughs> and so, after, you know, after a while, basically getting, you know, you know, getting their valise, they would basically start to leave. After arriving back home, you know, one of them would suggest that they should probably get a new home, or at least renovate the old, you know, the old ass, you know, church. After saying that, apparently, you know, Izuku would say that the re- not Izuku, I meant Bell, tells them that the reason why he can't basically repair the place is because he needs to, you know, do the expenses, specifically the food, also some other stuff, clothing, other stuff, basically that. But when, you know, Koyan Skyer heard that, she would basically tell everybody that her, you know, her business, aka, you know, NF, you know, FFF, I meant NFF services, is currently booming, thanks to the help of, like, you know, the Monsterphilia. Because of her artificial monsters being similar to, like, regular monsters, but except, you know, docile and much more, you know, obedient, it makes it much more easier for them to basically control, and even use them as, you know, better entertainment tools, especially if it comes to, like, you know, staged, you know, battles. And so, because of that, you know, she would basically get a lot of vows from that. So, after being told of this, Izuku would decide to basically now, not Izuku, and then Bell would decide to finally get the, you know, church renovated. And so, after doing so, the church is now fully renovated with, you know, a few, you know, well, things different. Like, for example, the place is now, or at least, you know, where supposedly, or at least used to be the, you know, the church hall, basically, sort of, I don't really know what to call it. 
is, you know, now turned into like a, you know, into a living room with the rest of the rooms there, like for example the upstairs where the tower is, is now converted into a bedroom, and also the kitchen is right there, things of that sort, and after eating dinner, everybody would basically, you know, go to their separate rooms, and everybody would fall to sleep. So, yeah, so... That is basically what happened last episode, and so I'm probably going to be making this a short episode because I'm pretty much busy with, like, finals. Anyway, continue on, and let us talk about what happens next, boys and girls. So, we currently see Izuku, not Izuku, I meant Belle, goddammit, again! Ugh. Anyway, we currently see Bell basically waking up again, as he would basically stand up from his, you know, bed, as he would say this. Well, that felt much better. At least it's not as annoying to deal with as the goddamn benches he would say to himself. As after saying that, he would start, you know, standing up from his bed and would start changing his clothes into his simple, like, you know. Um, just imagine this, but except, you know, except for the, you know, um, whatever you want to call this thing. I don't really know what to call it. And the jacket, and would imagine, like, you know, his shoulder pads basically gone as well. And, you know, his gloves basically gone, and also replace the boots with, like, you know, or the iron boots with, you know, some simple, like, you know, shoes. As, after doing so, he would basically, you know, be there, as you would see some of his servants, or heroic spirits, and also Emiya basically making, you know, breakfast. While Hestia's there, you know, doing her own thing, basically counting up some of the Valis. As she's currently, you know, you know, thinking of some ideas. Mostly to promote the, you know, promote her, you know, familia, aka Zuki's familia, sort of. And after a while, basically, you know, doing so, Izuku would say this. Oh, morning, um, everybody, he would say. As well as they would say this. Oh, good morning, master, said all of them except for Hestia. Because Hestia is still pretty much busy, as Izuku would say this. So guys, so, we're gonna be going to another dungeon later. We're gonna be going to the dungeon later, I meant. As one of them would say this. Specifically, you know... Hmm. Yeah. Wait for a second. As Europa would say this. Ah, I see Izuku, she would say. As, you know, Gilgamesh would say this. Hmm. I mean, I could help, but I'm gonna be helping Hestia with her management of her money, he would say. As Izuku would say this. Oh, I see, then how about all of you guys? As, you know, Burgeist would say this. Uh, uh, sorry, Izuku, I'm gonna be going with Emiya and Melusine to the market. As he would look towards Koyanskaya, as Koyanskaya would say this. I'm still pretty much busy right now. I'm gonna be busy on, you know, dealing with my NFF services, she would say, as Izuku would say this. Ah, I see. As you would look towards Europa, as you would say this. I guess we're gonna be working together, I guess. Only us, she would say. As she would say this. It seems so, she would say. And after saying so, they would start leaving. And also, guys, I'm probably gonna be making this a short episode because because it's going to be my finals, I have to have, like, a lot of things to do. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, I'm gonna be making this, like, at least, like, a 20, a 25 minute episode, maybe? Or something of that sort. And so, both of them would basically leave to go to the dungeon. After doing so, they would basically go to the dungeon as they would start taking down a lot of monsters. Which, she would start using her, you know, her, you know, ability to summon the arms, or some of the body parts of, you know, the large, you know, giant that she's able to summon. Or at least just manifest some of the parts of it. While she uses the bull to basically ram into her enemies, while she uses the harp to basically summon down lightning. As, while well, Izuku's doing, you know, not Izuku, I meant Bell doing his own thing, basically using his pistols to basically shoot down some of the, you know, monsters from the sky, and also using, you know, his sword to basically create, you know, blackish red fire to basically slice through them. While he also uses his ice sword to basically cause serious damage to them. So, after a while of doing so, we currently see Izuku, not Izuku, I meant Bell basically on the ground. As you would say this. <sighs> I guess we could rest, said, you know, Izu- Not Izuku, I meant Bell. <sighs> anyway, continue on. As, you know, after saying so, you know... Well, you know, Europa would say this. Uh, I guess so, she would say. And she would basically lay down, thanks to the help of her bull, and would basically br bring out a... 
Kijk naar basket. Hij is ziek, hoe het is. Nou, is ziek, hoe Come on. As Bella would say this. Oh, um, is that a picnic basket, he would say? As she would say this. Yeah, Emiya gave it to me. Apparently, he wanted us to basically have some snacks. After saying so, she would basically open the basket and it would show off some simple sandwiches. As, you know, Belle would say this. Whoa, they look pretty good, he would say. As you'd grab one of them, as you would chow down, saying, Ah, oh, Emmy is cooking so good, he would say. As, you know, for Europa, she would say this. Yes, I do agree. His cooking is quite wonderful. I especially love it with some simple tea, she would say. As she would basically grab some tea nearby, or at least, you know, from the, you know, from the thing, aka from the picnic basket, and would just pour it in some, you know, in one of her cups. After doing so, she would start drinking it as she would say this. Ah, much better, she would say. As, you know, Belle would say this. So, Europa, he would say, as she would say this. Yeah, Belle, she would say, as he would say this. Well, um, about, you know, how I'm able to summon all of you guys. I'm maybe planning to basically summon more, he would say, as she would say this. Wait, really? I mean, you could, but it's probably not gonna work. I mean, you're probably not able to summon multiple heroic spirits, or at least just us, for now. Or at least I think so, maybe, but it's probably just us. As after saying that, you know, he, like, Belle would just say this. Hmm. How about this, you would say. If I were able to basically, you know, summon three more heroic spirits here, then... Hmm, then you have to... Hmm, he would start, you know, humming to himself. How about this? If I were to be able to basically summon, you know, a three more heroic spirits, then you have to, you know, mm, give me about, like, a few of your valis. As after saying so, she would say this. Hmm, that seems like a great idea, she would say. But if you lose, she would say, as she would start getting a malicious smile, then you have to go on a date with... Betch, she would say. As it would cause, you know, Belle to basically just, like, you know, pill a little bit, as you would say this. You're a monster, she, he would just say. I she would say this. I know, she would say with the, you know, with the harmless laugh. Even though it had a malicious intent in it. <laughs> oh, God. So, after saying so, you know, Belle would basically get ready to summoning circle. As he was told about it, thanks to the hope of, like, Emmy last time. So, after creating the summoning circle, he would start doing the chant. And his, you know, hand would be outstretched as he would start doing the chant and would basically see light coming off the thing. As it would cause Europa to say to herself, wait, is he really able? As before she could say anything else, she would basically jump back with the help of her bull as a large explosion would happen. Causing some of the debris nearby to basically explode and could cause, you know, a sort of cave-in. And when, you know, Bell couldn't like react in time, he would get saved. By something. As he would be grabbed by the, you know, by the stomach and would basically be, you know, launched backwards, or at least, you know, catch backwards, as the rubble that was supposed to basically crush him, you know, would basically fall down and would not crush him. After doing so, he would say to himself, What the? Who? As he would start looking at the figure who basically saved him. He would see that the person that's basically, you know, holding on to him, basically grabbing him by the, you know, by the stomach, was a man wearing some simple, like, you know, huntsman-type clothing. What do I mean by this? Well, just imagine, you know, one of those, like, 18th century-style outfits, like, you know, with the cloak and the, um, I guess you say fancy dress shirt and also some belts, you know, all around his body and also, you know, he seems to be wielding swords. Really sharp ones, to say the least. And not only that, the most notable part about him is... He doesn't have a head. Like, seriously, he doesn't really have a head. And not only that, he's riding on a large wolf with flaming eyes. Flaming blue fire basically, like, coming out of it. From its mouth to its eyes. As it would be, you know, as the one of the mouths, or the mouth of the, you know... Monstrous wolf seems to be wielding a large scythe like weapon as The wolf would speak even though technically in canon it doesn't really speak, but you know I made it canon in my you know, what if 
<laughs> and one of my older what ifs, aka what if Deku wasn't, you know, my, or what if Deku had the ability to summon hero spirits or was in FGO. But I'm also maybe planning to reboot it with, you know, the original idea. More specifically, the original idea that he's going to be in Kill a Kill. Yeah. So, yeah, be prepared for that one, boys. So, after, you know, getting saved by him, he would say this. What then, the? As the wolf would say this. Servant. Avenger. So you have summoned us. I am Lobo. And this is Hessian, he would say. The wolf would speak with a almost guttural tone as he would say this. So you're the one that I'm summoned. The, that I summoned, he would say. Uh, wait a minute. I thought I was able to summon. As before he can say anything else, a woman would basically, you know, break down some of the rubble that basically appeared over the, you know, well, basically, you know, was covering the entire, like, you know, magical circle. As the woman would basically, you know, destroy all of the debris that's basically, you know, covering her body. After doing so, the woman would basically start, you know, you know, dusting herself off. The woman seems to be. She seems to be a woman with golden eyes and golden hair that seems to be fading into a bluish color. She seems to be wearing, you know, some interesting clothing to say the least. Like seriously, what the frick is that outfit? Jesus Christ! As she seems to be wielding both a sword and a scale. As she would say this, servant ruler. The name's Astrea, she would say. And maybe next time try not to do that, she would say. Ah, that actually felt horrible, she would say. As she would start dusting off herself, as another person would basically arrive, or at least appear. This woman seems to be, seems to be a woman with a large, sharp-looking, you know, staff, almost resembling like a, you know, a spear to the point. Get it? To the point? A? <laughs> yeah, I see myself out. I'll just see myself out. Anyway, continuing on. She seems to be wielding a staff that's almost similar to a axe to the point that it literally looks like a weapon that you basically bash your, you know, enemies in with. Not only that, she seems to be wearing a simple, like, you know, not really simple, but, you know, kind of like, you know, dress. It seems to be black with a bit of blue and also some white. As her white hair would also, you know, would also be tied in a black bow. And her eyes. Her eyes were blue, like sky blue, as she would say this. Servant Berserker, she would say. The name's Morgan Le Fay, she would say. As she would say this. See, I told you, Australia, he would... Not Australia, I meant... <laughs> I told you, he would say, you know, looking towards, you know, a Euro... Like, looking towards a surprise Europa, as she would say this. So it seems, she would say. As he would say this. Now, I want you to pay up, he would say, as she would say this. Uh, fine, but later for now, she would say. After saying that, she would look towards, you know, you know, the, you know, three new servants, as she would say this. So, it seems that you're the new servants of our masters, she would say. As she would say this, specifically, you know, Astrea. Yeah, it seems so. Nice to meet you then. And we hope we can, you know, help you in the best of our, you know, abilities. As after saying that, Hesse and Lobo would say this. Yes! Hessian can certainly help. After all, he is quite a powerful, you know, wielder. Or at least, rider, he would say. After saying that, he would say this. Wait, I thought you were an Avenger, he would say. As after saying that, he would just look at him as he would say this. Not the rider class, as in, you know, he's able to ride... Actually, never mind, he would say. As after saying that, you know, Morgan would say this. Hmm. I guess, she would say. No. What are we supposed to do, she would say, as he would say this. Hmm. I just need you guys to take care of some of the monsters nearby. We're going to be getting those monster cores after all, he would say. As one of them would say this, specifically Astrea. Mind telling me what are these monster cores exactly, she would say. As Izuku, not Izuku, I meant Bell, would say this. Hmm. Basically, after explaining, you know, she would say this. I see. Then, let's do this, she would say. As she would grab her, you know, sword and get ready, and would start charging towards the nearest monster. And this nearest monster seems to be, you know, a monster that resembles a dog. As it would start to get sliced by, you know, well, by her, 
instantly being killed. As, you know, after doing so, she would say this. Now, let's take care of them, shall we, Morgan? She would say, as uh, she would say this. Uh, very well, she would say, as uh, she would get rid of your staff. Wait for a second, god dang it, what the f- After waving her staff, you know, a few light, like, you know, spears would basically come out of nowhere, and would slice through, you know, some of the, you know, some of the, you know, wolf-like monsters, and it would be destroyed. After doing so, she would basically point her spear, like, downwards, and would basically just poke. After doing so, one of the, you know, escaping kobolds would get stabbed right in the chest by something. Like something invisible basically, you know, appeared. After looking down at his body, a light made out of, you know, red energy would basically, or at least a, you know, piercing, like, you know, weapon similar to a, you know, spear, would basically appear, basically made out of, like, you know, reddish energy, as it would kill the last of the, you know, wolf-like monsters. After doing so, the, you know, the rest of these wolf-like monsters would disappear, turning into monster cores. After grabbing them, Izuku would basically grab one of the monster cores, as you would notice something near the monster core, as after grabbing it, he would say this. Huh. As you would see that it's some sort of, like, fang. As you would see this. Hmm. Maybe I should sell it, he would say. After saying that, he would basically tell everybody that they're going to be leaving now. After saying that, everybody would start to leave. As one of them would say this, specifically, you know, Europa. So, um, Master? As after saying that, he would say this. Uh, just call me Izuku, he would say. Not Izuku, that Bell, he would say. Uh, she would say this. Ah, right. Yeah, anyway, um, what about them? He would, she would say. As he would say this. Oh, don't worry. I can just explain to them later. After saying so, one of them would say this. Specifically, you know, you know, Morgan. So, should we conceal our presence for now, Master? She would say. As he would say this. Hmm, I guess so. Maybe we could surprise the rest of my hero spirits, he would say. As one of them would say this. Specifically, you know, well, specifically, you know, Hessian and Lobo. Wait, you have other heroic spirits, he would say. As he would say this. Yeah, as after saying that, he would say this. Hmm, guess I could try and hide my presence, he would say. I mean, our presence, he would say. And after doing so, he would basically disappear. Because, remember, because he literally ha- Because, remember, he's basically a phantom heroic spirit. So, the reason why he's able to turn invisible... Or, you know, turn into, you know, well, serve like similar to like, pres like, present consumer is because, you know, he's fused with, you know, the invisible man. So, that's the reason why he's basically invisible right now. So, yeah, after doing so, we currently see, you know, everybody, or at least his heroic spirits, or at least the new ones, would basically disappear into nothingness. As after doing so, they would start walking towards the, you know, guild, as, well, you know, Morgan is looking around, she would say this to herself. Uh, the mana here, and especially all of the magic spells here, are quite pathetic, she would say. As Australia would say this. Yeah, I do have to agree, and I'm quite surprised that other gods are here. And I'm quite surprised that they're not either... Starts with the R word... Ruining other lives, something of that sort, yeah. Wait for a second. Sorry about that. Anyway, continuing on. As well, you know, Hessian and Lobo are basically looking around. Hessian and Lobo basically go their separate ways, as, you know, Hessian is basically looking around. While he's looking around, he would start looking at several of the people there, basically just like, you know, talking. As he's quite interested in it. As for Lobo, Lobo is currently just like looking at some of the people there. Specifically the ones with like, you know, animal ears and other types of stuff. After looking around, he would say this. Wow. Why do I feel insulted, he would say to himself. So, after getting the valise that he needed and also, you know, selling, you know, the, you know, monster fang, as the, you know, receptionist would, you know, the receptionist would say this. Hey, 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 um... Why are you giving it to us? She would say. As he would say this. Why would I need it? He would say. Besides, I already have a better weapon. He would say. As after saying that, she would say this. But still, I mean, it's certainly quite expensive. And not only that, you can probably make a weapon with it. As he would say this. Do I seriously look like I care? I just need Valis, He would say. As she would say this. Uh, 
Sure then, she would say. After saying so, we currently see Bell basically leaving with the rest of his new evil experience. After arriving back, they would basically see the rest of them, you know, basically back, you know, basically all of them just doing their own thing, as one of them would say this. Specifically, you know, as Melly Wee would, uh, would basically say, Ah, Bell, you're back, she would say. As she would basically run up to him, as he's, you know, as Bell would basically just like, you know, would basically grab her like a like a dad would do his, to his daughter, as he would say this. Ah, hello, Melisine, he would say. As after Morgan sees her, she would say, Wait, Melisine, she would say. As she would look towards her, as she would say this. Huh. So I'm guessing the rest of the fairy knights are here. Wait, does that mean that Melisine's here? She would, not Melisine, I meant. That, does that mean that, you know, Balbon's here, she would say, with a somewhat, like, somewhat excited tone. As after looking around, she would say, Oh, I guess she's not here, she would say. She would start, you know, you know, becoming a little bit sad, as one of them would say this. Hey, Master, said, you know, well, you know, Koyanskaya, as you would say this. Yeah, Koyanskaya, you would say, as she would say this. Well, um, have you noticed that I'm starting to feel like, you know, a few customers nearby? After saying that, you know, Belle would say this. Well, um, about that, you see, I sort of gotten who, you know, new hero experience, you would say. After saying this, everybody would just be surprised, as one of them would say this, specifically Emiya. I'm starting to think that you certainly are the type of person he would say to himself, as, you know, one of them would say this, specifically, you know, Balbon. So, um, Kurde, she would say, as he would say this, well, um, hey, guys, you can basically come out now. After saying so, they would basically, you know, materialize. Both, you know, Morgan and also, you know, well, you know, um, Australia would basically appear as it would cause, you know, two members to basically, you know, to, like, you know, to be wide-eyed, as one of them would say this. I mean, Morgan said, you know, you know, Burgeis, as one of them would say this, specifically, you know, Melisine. Queen Morgan, is that you, she would say? As she would say this, yeah, it is, she would say, as all, like, all three of them would basically hug, as they would say this, Miss Morgan, it's been a while, she would say, as, you know, Melissa would say this, yeah, it's certainly been so long, she would say, as she would say this, yeah, yeah, I know, but besides, we're now equal now, because we're now, you know, the servants of, you know, Belle, she would say, as one would say this. Yeah, I do sort of agree, she would say. As after saying that, she would look towards Belle, as she would say this. Hey, um, Belle? She would start looking towards Belle, as Belle would say this. Uh, yeah, he would say, as she would say this. Well, um, about, you know, well, you know, she would say. Specifically, you know, Burgeist, as he would say this. Yeah? As she would say this, well, about how you summoned, you know, Morgan, she would say. As he would say this, uh, yeah? As she would say this, well, I'm quite thankful for you to basically summon her, she would say. As he would say this, oh, cool, then, as he would start remembering somebody else. Oh yeah, as you would say, Hessian, Lobo, um, you can come out now. As Hessian, Lobo would basically turn off their presence concealment. Showing off the headless horseman himself, and you're basically on top of the large, you know, on the large freaking wolf. As Hestia would just be afraid, saying, What did the freaking... As she would basically start becoming a little bit afraid. As, you know, Emmy would say this. Huh. It's been a while, Hest... Not Hestia, I meant. It's been a while, Hestia, he would say. As Hestia would say this. Nothing. Like, nothing. As, you know, Lobo would say this. It's been a while, Archer of Shinkuku. I meant, you know, Archer, the nameless one, he would say. As he would say this. Uh, I told you not to call me that. Besides, we're now comrades, he would say. As he would say this. But I just prefer it, he would say. Specifically, you know, well, Hessian. As he would say this. Huh. I guess so. Anyway, we're going to be making dinner now. So if you, all of you want to eat then, as you know, her, you know, aka, you know, well, wait for a second. <laughs> when, you know, um, well, 
Morgan became like, you know, when Morgan basically heard that there's going to be dinner, she would start becoming a little bit excited. Mostly because, you know, because she has the, you know, saber face syndrome over there. Well, she has the infamous, you know, ability of hers, which is gluttony. Yeah. <laughs> so, because of that, she's now pretty much hungry. And so, everybody would basically start to eat, including, you know, Hestia. Hestia is currently, like, sitting right next to Astrea, as Astrea is basically talking to her. Mostly because Astrea was pretty interested on, you know, how this world's, you know, version of Hestia is. I mean, her version of Hestia, or at least the Hestia in the, you know, in the FGO universe is, well, much more, and I mean much more nicer. But Hestia here seems, you know, less nice, sort of. I mean, she's still pretty nice to her people, especially towards Belle, but, you know, she's much more, you know, a little bit greedy and a little bit of a, you know, of a, I guess you could say, like, you know, well, um, attention seeker, I guess you could say. After, you know, a bit of talking, they would basically stop dinner and would basically get ready to get some sleep. After doing so, Belle would basically assign them some rooms and everybody would basically go to sleep. So, yeah, so, I hope you liked this pretty short episode, and so, I hope you liked the video, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye